Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what is going to happen in the next 24 hours. What to expect, what is going to be happening in your life. With that being said, I ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when I up upload more videos. Share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, there's a link below. Please donate away. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me live. It helps me grow and expand. And it helps my channel grow and expand also. With that being said, I um, have pulled a bunch of cards. I have clarified them with my um, Everyday Witch new deck that I just got. And let's get started here. So the first card I pulled is Teach. So somebody here is a teacher. Somebody is, you know, here to teach spiritual lessons, teach others about their experiences. Maybe someone's going to be offered a teacher position with children or to teach the public about um, things that they have gone through, I'm hearing. Um, this could be female or male. There's a female on this card that is holding a book. Has a loyal dog sitting right next to her, so you could have a dog. Doesn't have to be, but... It could represent that you have a loyal friend that is going to be by your side as you teach the world about the wisdom and knowledge that you have gained throughout your situation. Teach is clarified with the emperor. So the emperor is Aries. So there could be an Aries involved. But the emperor stands for um, authority, ambition, financial stability, achievements. Really just being in your emperor pos um, position. This is somebody that is really powerful, has been through a lot in their life, that has let, led them to become the emperor. Now, this could be a female or male. It doesn't have to be a male, even though the emperor represents a male, because we all have femininity and uh, masculine in, our, in us. I also see another dog. So you could be a dog lover, or this person could be a dog lover. They have a loyal friend with them at all times. And again, that we start off with the teach card. There's their loyal friend. So this is a loyal friend. I feel like this represents the same person. Or this emperor is going to, to be a loyal friend to this teacher that is going to teach the world about the, their wisdom, their knowledge that they've gained throughout their, their life. We have the master. So the master is mastering your gifts, your talents, your skills, your wisdom, your knowledge. Um, the things that you've gone through in life. Um, it's really connecting to the higher power, really allowing you to um, use your powers to survive in life, teach other people to master the life, master your purpose in life. So we have not only a teacher, but we have the master out here along with the emperor. So this is going to be a very powerful reading. The master is clarified with the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a man in uniform connected to law or government. So with this being said, I feel like this King of Swords is an authority figure that has recognized your gifts, has recognized that you are the master, that you are able to use your, your spiritual gifts to gain knowledge and wisdom, to help others, to teach others. Maybe this King of Swords is this master. Maybe this represents you. Um, I feel more like this is an, somebody in authority, somebody that is connected to law or government that has really kind of researched and watched you become this master of your gifts, master of psychic abilities, master of whatever you are a master of. It doesn't always have to be psychic abilities. I feel that. Because I feel it's very connected to the universe. We have justice, Libra, sign of Libra. This is receiving justice in an injustice type of situation. If you need the scales to be balanced in something, this king of swords is balancing whatever needs to be balanced out. Maybe this justice is towards this king of swords. Maybe we have a corrupt law enforcement agent that's an Aquarius because King of Swords is Aquarius to me. 
This could also stand for a father figure, somebody that, you know, stands in their authority. I feel like the justice is is something that's been you've been waiting on for a very long time that you deserve. And if you notice above her head, there's a wheel. So the wheels are turning in your favor. So remember that. Keep, you know, confident that if you are in any type of justice situation, and if there's been any type of unfair dealings, the wheels are turning and the scales are being balanced in your favor. Again, the justice card represents Libra. So maybe this is regarding a Libra that's in your life. So justice is clarified with the Eight of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is abandoning a path. This is disillusionment. And this is uh, um, emotional unfulfillment. So something regarding this justice situation has really not filled up your cups. Or something has taken your cups and dumped them out and left you feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Maybe there was disillusionment in a court case, there was lies, there was deceit, there was hidden agendas, there was, you know, thievery, there was people slandering your name, creating like a disillusionment in your life that allowed this justice to be taken against you when in reality it was an injustice because it was all made up shit. It was all just gossip. It was all just people working against you. Somebody here has been deceived, and it's been in love, because there's eight cups here. It could have been, you know, you were deceived by a lover. You could have been deceived by um, a daughter, by a mother, a father, sister, brother, all of them. It could have been friends or foes. It could have been a fucking foe that fucked you over. Somebody fucked you over. They took your love for granted, for one thing. Because you are offering all eight cups and whoever you were offering that to, giving that to, created a disillusionment. They, they tricked you. And whatever they tricked you caused you to lose in a court battle is what I'm hearing. Just know that the scales are being balanced, the wheels are turning, and justice is going to be um, found in your favor. Weight of the world, boundaries, letting go, it's not yours to carry. So the weight of the world have been on your shoulders. This is like Ten of Wands. You carry all those Ten of Wands by yourself. I feel like that's what was created from this injustice. The boundaries were broke. People broke your boundaries. You were having a hard time letting go of this situation. But what you need to know is it isn't yours to carry. So if there are people in your situation that are going to have justice done to them, Instead of feeling sorry for them, instead of, you know, rushing to their aid to help them, you need to recognize that these people did this to you and they didn't run to your, I feel like they, instead, they, they abandoned you. They didn't give a fuck what they did to you. None of them. They created an injustice in your life to cover up whatever the fuck they were trying to cover up. Maybe it's because you are a master. Maybe you are a very powerful psychic and you are trying to teach the world about it. And people were trying to shut you up about it. Now it's time to lay down all of those 10 burdens. To create boundaries for people. To not let people break your boundaries. Not let people step you know, over your boundaries. You need to learn to let go of whatever you have been carrying that wasn't yours to carry for a very long time, I feel. The weight of the world is clarified by the six of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is successful gains. This is being able to share with others because you are financially stable. You have a lot. You are able to gift people things because you are able to share your wealth, share your, your knowledge, share your wisdom, share your unconditional love. I do feel like it's money because it is a pentacle. So once you let go and you set boundaries, you let go and realize that this situation isn't yours to carry. You are going to step into the six of pentacles and you're going to have successful gains. You're going to be able to share and gift other people. And that's truly who you are. You want to be able to do that. 
We have some people that have successful gains and they're very, very stubborn. They're very selfish. They don't want to share with anyone. But throughout your journey and what you've gone through, you are able to teach others to be an unconditionally loving person and to share their knowledge, share their gifts, share their wealth, share their unconditional love. We have the great gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. So your intuition is spot on. Keep following your intuition. Your soul tribe is gathering and about ready to move towards you if they have not yet. And it's all coming together, meaning that everything that you have needed and wanted to come together in your life is almost here. The Great Gathering is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is swift movement, chaotic. Um, this is a quick-minded, serious young man. I feel that this Knight of Swords is riding in on their broom with their sword held high, coming in to, to um, tell you about this, the Great Gathering. Maybe people are going to gather in like a social sit situation to bring you in this news about um, things going your way, telling you it, it's all coming together, that your intuitive hits were exactly right. This Knight of Swords also represents um, a person from your soul tribe that is going to come in. I would be kind of careful because this is not the King of Swords. It's a Knight. So this person could come in very quickly, and as fast as they come in, they could be gone. So that could be a warning. I'm not saying it is. You know, use what, you know, resonates with you and what doesn't, leave. We have Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is sense of anxiety and despair, feelings of oppression, this could be an air sign that is living like this because of something that they have done to you in the past. This person is unable to live with themselves. They feel very oppressed in their life because of a situation. Maybe this represents you, even if you are not an air sign. If this is you, it's time to get the fuck out of here. It's time to finally um, get out of your head and move forward. To get yourself out of this bed Embrace the world, let the world embrace you, and really allow yourself to know that all, even all these swords that are around this person, we can pull them out. This is almost to a ten of swords, and once we get to all ten swords, a new cycle begins. I feel that you have been oppressed for a very long time. You have been, you know, restricted by feeling, you know, feelings of fear that people have caused in your life that have made you second-guess yourself, second-guess your intuition. People have been doing this to you on purpose because they know that you are the master, that you are a teacher. So people have had you here because they're afraid of what your knowledge is, what your wisdom is, and what you have to offer. Now, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is like um, guard against loss, financial. This is temporary hardships. Uh, I feel like you have been this in this Five of Pentacles for a very long time because people have also um, been taken advantage of your money. I feel people have kept you in this Five of Pentacles to keep you bound and quiet and just always oppressed like this card that is clarifying. And it's time for you to, to, to realize that you are the master of your own life. You are the master when it comes to your abilities and that you have a lot to teach the world. We have the Eight of Roses, Signals. So this represents, this is my romance deck. Uh, you need to be watching for the signals that are coming towards you that uh, maybe somebody is putting out there. Maybe somebody will be sending you roses to let you know how much they love you. Uh, you need to be watching for the signals that other people are giving you and what spirit is sending to you also. The Eight of Roses signals is clarified with the Temperance card. This is compromise. This is balance. This is moderation. This is healing. This is maybe a sign that you need to do some yoga 
Maybe you need to spend time doing more yoga. Um, you need to be listening to your intuition because there is a cat here on your card. Uh, maybe this Eight of Rose is going to bring in this healing that you've needed for a very long time. Watch for the signals that are being brought to you, maybe through meditating. Maybe you need to meditate more, reach out to the higher power, allow the signals and the information to come to you. This also um, could represent, she has one eye open. So somebody is watching you. I, I heard somebody's learning from you. They're learning how to use moderation and maybe healing themselves. They're wanting to heal a situation with you. So maybe they've been reaching out to the higher power. They've been trying to compromise. Maybe this person was afraid of your gifts. Maybe these people were afraid of your gifts that you have. They now see you as the master because they've been watching you. That's what it is. They've been watching you heal. They've been watching you compromise in your life. Um, they have been watching you balance out your life. This person is balancing on one foot. I feel like this temperance represents you. And this eight of roses is somebody that has been watching you, that loves you, that wants to offer you something, and you need to watch for the signals that they are giving you. I hope that makes sense. Seven of wands in reverse. Uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is when it when it's in the upright, you're defending your position. You're overcoming obstacles. With this being in reverse, you no longer have to defend who you are, which is absolutely fucking awesome. I think that's just awesome. Because I think that you spent your lifetime so far having to defend yourself against people that have judged you, have perceived you in the wrong fucking light. Um, they have made fun of you. They have created injustice in your life time and time again. And instead, what it's doing is it's bringing people closer to you because they're finally seeing the fucking truth of who you are. The Seven of Wands in reverse is clarified with the Hermit. Now, the Hermit is a sign of Virgo. Um, this, is, this deck is fucking amazing. I love it. This is probably now my most favorite deck. I mean, I have many of them, but I love the illustrations. Um, I am a witch. I am a good witch. I am a white witch. So don't freak out when I say I'm a witch. I don't do love spells. I don't do anything to harm another person. I use it for my highest good and I use it along with God. Because God gave me the gift to be a witch. God created me the way that I am. Somebody asked me how I could be um, a witch and still be so close to God. Well, it's because God fucking created me. And God put the, gave me the gifts I have. And made me who I am. So that's why I I worship God because that's who created me. And I want everyone to know that you can be a witch and be a very good witch. You don't have to pla practice black magic and all this other bullshit that these fucking ignorant, other you know, witches, so-called witches do. Because when you do that type of shit, all you're doing is creating that fucking karma for yourself. Be a good person is what I'm saying. You don't even have to be a witch. Put good out into the world, and that's what's going to return to you. You put bad out into the world, that's what's going to return to you. You know, people do um, spells on people because they're jealous of their looks. Well, if you ever look at the people that are doing that and the person they're doing it to, the person that they're doing it to looks fucking fabulous. But the people that are putting the spells are growing old. They're getting fat. They're, you know, on and on and on. And I'm not saying that, you know, overweight people are not you know, beautiful people, because I believe that we're all beautiful from the inside out. I don't really care what a person looks like on the outside. It's what is uh, it, um, what is within that person that makes them a beautiful or handsome person or a good person. The hermit represents going within. So um, I think that you have spent a lot of time in this hermit mode. You you would you have really gone within to find yourself. To realize that you no longer have to defend your position to anyone. That you honestly can be the person that you want to be. And if this isn't um, something that you are practicing now, 
this might be the moment that you realize, you know what, I don't have to convince anyone else of what's going on in my life. I don't have to convince anyone else that an injustice has been done. That, you know, I know the truth, God knows the truth, and I'm going to leave it at that. Because I know personally, I've spent my entire fucking life trying to get people to understand what I've been through in my life, what people have done to me, defending my position through justice situations, through love situations, through community um, situations, when in reality, I'm here to teach the world from all the experiences I've gone through, and I have mastered my skills that God has given me. Share the love. So in the next 24 hours, there is going to be people sharing the love. If it's going to be you sharing your love with other people or continuing to share your love with other people, or if somebody is going to come in and offer you their love. I feel like more that somebody is going to be coming in to offer you that love. The share the love, is, which is really weird, is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I spoke of the Ten of Swords when I was talking about the Nine of Swords. We have the Nine and Ten of Swords here. This is when you have been stabbed in your back ten fucking times. This is the end of a cycle. You, there's no more room for any more swords. It's time to finally get up. Stop reaching for somebody to help you. Brush yourself off. Pull those ten swords out of your back. And finally be able to move into a new cycle. Into a healthy cycle. With that being said, with the Ten of Swords clarifying the share, the love, I feel like you are going to have somebody coming in to help you remove those Ten Swords out of your back. I think it is a love interest. I think it might be somebody that has watched you go through whatever you've gone through. It could be that King of Swords that was investigating what the fuck was going on. And that person has really just kind of taken a liking to you. They see what people have done to you. Do they feel sorry for you? Yes, they do. And I hate to say that. I don't want, we don't want people to feel sorry for us. But unfortunately, you've gone through this really tough fucking battle. And I feel like you've gone through it alone. I don't think, and if you haven't gone through it alone, you haven't had very many people there to help you, to help you remove those 10 swords. And I think people are going to come in and help you get out of this finally, get, remove these swords out of your back and finally be able to move on with your life. We have the rebel. I think you're totally the rebel. I think that you have been looked at as a rebel. People have perceived you as a rebel because you don't just follow everything that everybody says. You don't follow tradition. You um, might have been the black sheep of your family. And what that's what's hindered you in your growth in life. Because people were viewing you as the rebel. People were um, perceiving you as a rebel. People were not understanding why you stood in your rebel power. And I think it's really hindered your life. I think it's really created a lot of injustice in your life. But in the meanwhile, because you were different, because you were the black sheep of your family, because you were, you know, a free spirit and wanted to do things on your own, that's why it made it so easy for people to stab you in the fucking back. Now, the Rebel is clarified with the Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is boredom and discontent. So, somebody in this situation, I think it's you. Because you've been stuck for so long. And you've been trying to defend yourself for so long. And people have perceived you as the Rebel for so long. It has really hindered your growth, really hindered your life. You haven't been able to move in the direction that you need to move in. You haven't been able to be the person that you were meant to be, to serve the purpose here on earth, because people have been stopping you every time you would turn a corner. I feel like people have fucking abandoned you. They have left you out in the cold. People have gossiped about you. They have judged you harshly for things that you have not done, even for the things that you have done. I think that you've made a lot of mistakes in your life. You're not perfect because none of us are. But you've allowed your mistakes to help you master your, your psychic abilities, helped you master your emotions, 
helped you become a rebel that is very, very knowledgeable, very wise, very unconditionally loving. But people were so stuck on you being this person that they hindered your growth in life. It's really sad. It is really sad because people wanted to be ignorant or they were jealous because you had a free life. You, you live life freely. You decide, you know, each day how your life's going to be. Am I going to get up and go to a nine to five job or am I going to do something different? Am I going to move in or live in California or am I going to wake up in the morning and move to New York? Stuff like that. That's what makes people a rebel to me. It's not a rebel that's going around, you know, creating chaos and conflict and fights and, you know, breaking all the laws in the world. Maybe you have been that person. And if that's you, so be it. Live your life free. Break free of the chains that people have bound you to because you are a free fucking spirit. We have the six of wands. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is success, achievements. This is, you know, standing up and people are, are cheering you on for all the success and all the things that you have done in your life that has made you the, the person that you are. I think that you have deserved this position for a very fucking long time. People are going to be celebrating you. You're going to receive a promotion. Maybe you're going to receive a job offer that is maybe going to help you teach or share the, um, your abilities with the world. But people, instead of looking down upon you, they're actually going to be celebrating you. And I don't think this is something that you have ever had. This is also in the same deck as the Justice card. So I feel like you will be looked at as somebody to celebrate instead of somebody that has, that has been um, plagued with being the rebel and breaking the law. And, you know, people's gossip and ignorance towards you. People are going to be celebrating you. We have the Six of Wands, and then we have the Six of Cups, clarifying the Six of Wands. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is happiness from the past. Old friends coming back into your life. And even an old loved revived. So not only are other people going to be celebrating you, but people from your past are finally recognizing who you are, what you stand for, and what you bring to this world. You're going to have people from your past coming back to you. Now, if you accept them, then that's your, you know, that is on you. You might just forgive these people, and but still keep moving forward. We all need to continue moving forward to better things. Um, it is good to forgive people. Say that these people, all these people abandoned you at one time. Because they listen to all the bullshit that people created around you and about you. Um, it's, again, it's great to forgive them. But we don't have to forget what people have done to us. Remember that. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition. Turn your gaze within. All paths lead home. Lead straight back to you. You are home. You're your own home. People look at you as home. You are really allowing your intuition to guide you on this journey, which is absolutely beautiful. If you're not listening to your intuition, you better start fucking listening to it because your intuition is trying to tell you something. It is leading you back home, whatever that means to you. Whatever home means to you, that's where you are heading to. If that is with somebody, a person, if that is a place, if that is a you know situation, a job, if that is just going within and you feeling like you create your own home within you, um, you are being led back home. And so all past lead home is clarified with the Queen of Swords, sign of Libra. So Libra's out here twice in this reading. Um, more than twice because Libra's also the swords. But um, this queen is a no-nonsense queen. She is very, um, like, she does not put up with shit. She takes this sword right here and cuts anything and everything that does not serve her highest purpose. And this could be the person that you consider home in your life. Maybe this is a mother. Maybe this is a daughter. Maybe this is a lover. Whatever the Queen of Swords represents. Or it could just be leading you back to yourself. Leading you to this throne that you are going to sit on. And you're going to hold this fucking sword up high and be like, come on, motherfuckers. Bring it. Because if you're going to bring no bunch of nonsense, a bunch of bullshit in my life, I'm just going to cut you the fuck out of here. 
whatever it represents, it is home. Maybe you're going to live in a castle. Who knows? I mean, just, you know, use your imagination. You know where you're heading. I do feel like this represents a person that you feel like is your home. Let's see here. We have many taken, long, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So you are a light worker. You are an original light worker. That means that you have been reincarnated time and time again on earth as a light worker. It also is your longing for home. We just got done talking about all paths lead to home. I think this Queen of Swords represents home to you. Like to me, all paths lead to home. And this Queen of Swords is my daughter. Because we all know, if you don't know, my daughter was taken from me um, in a justice situation. That is an absolute injustice. The law took my daughter with um, gossip, with lies, with rumors, with nothing no supportive type things, nothing that was concrete. They just listened to other people's bullshit and lies and gossip about me. And they created this injustice in my life. And it's been a very difficult road for me. I will, I'm trying not to get emotional. Um, it's been like my home, my family was ripped apart. And it was ripped apart by people judging me for being the rebel for not understanding my gifts, for not understanding what I'm here to do to serve my purpose in life because I am a person that shares unconditional love with people. Um, it's just been a very difficult journey. And it feels like no matter where I'm at, I can create my home over and over again, but my home is incomplete without my daughter. Sorry, my emotional moment. So I had to pause a video for a minute. Um, so you're longing for home and you are a original light worker. So people, I think, are starting to recognize that you're here to make this planet better. That maybe they made wrong decisions. They viewed you wrong. Um, you are longing for home. So you're probably pretty heartbroken at this time because whatever home represents to you has been taken out of your life with an injustice so the, the mini taken card is clarified with the chariot this is a sign of cancer this is a sign of getting on this motorcycle which is badass because i love motorcycles and you're riding um you're trying to decide which way you're going to go that way or that way you're going to be able to get on this motorcycle with a loyal friend, with your intuition. It has a cat. It's really fucking cool. I told you this deck is really cool. Um, and, and really go towards your happiness, towards your home, whatever is going to feel like home to you. With that being said, we have the High Priestess, a sign of Cancer again. We are in Cancer season. Happy birthday to all Cancers. I am a fellow Cancer. My birthday is in two days. Um, this is... You are very spiritually gifted. You are the keeper of all secrets. You have a direct connection to Source himself, to your angels, your guides, your ancestors. And people are looking at you as this beautiful woman on this card, knowing that you are very um, powerful. And I think people have really tried to dim your light to take this, this gift away from you. But in reality, it only made it stronger. You know, you know the truth of your situation. You know the truth. You know the truth of people. You meet people, you know who the fuck they are. You are a light worker. You're here to, to definitely give people, but hang on one second. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Um, feeding my dogs. My little dog, she, she typically eats once a day. Um, my big dog, he'll eat 50 times a day if I let him. And if I don't watch, he'll eat all her food when I put it out for her. So, sorry about the disruptions. Um, let's just keep going here. You are the high priestess. You are, you're directly connected to spirit. You are also a light worker. So, you come into people's lives to bring the love and light into their life when they're stuck in the darkness. The high priestess is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is, again, feeling restricted by fear. 
being withdrawn. So you're withdrawn from the world or somebody in your situation is being withdrawn from the world. But you're not restricted. You're restricting yourself. You're hindering yourself from being this high priestess and being this light worker because of what people have done to you in your life. What situations you have been put in. How people have fucking viewed you. Spirits wanting you to untie your hands Take off this blindfold and walk through these fucking swords and embrace the world of, with who you are and the knowledge that you keep. We have the king of gems, the realist. You could have a king of gems coming into your life to help you break free of these restrictions, to give you strength and love and kindness. This person is a realist. This person sees things for you know what they are. I feel like this is somebody that's coming in to offer you love because this is out of my romance deck. Um, I feel like this person really um, views you as a realist, that you see the truth of what happens in situations, especially your own. This person um, has maybe been watching and observing you for a very long time and is wanting to come in to offer you strength and courage. Or maybe you have offered this person strength and courage when they have gone through a rough time because the realist, the king of gems, is clarified by the strength card. Sign a Leo. This could be a Leo. doesn't have to be. This person looks at you like this this woman, like this, this person, this uh, lion next to her. They see you as a very strong, courageous person. That has been put through a lot in your life. A lot. People have put you down. People have looked at you in a horrible fucking way. People have lied about you. People have hindered your growth in life. This could represent you. Maybe you are a realist. You you recognize what's what reality really is. Maybe you're standing in the king of gym power. Because you have the strength and uh, courage to, to do that. We have the Ten of Swords here again, folks. So you have been stabbed in your back ten times. We have it here twice. We not only have the Nine of Swords, but we have the Ten of Swords here two times. That's 19 times that you've been stabbed. In, no, wait, excuse me. I can't count. That's 29 times that you've been stabbed in your back. So not only were you stabbed in your back ten times once, but you were stabbed in your back uh, 10 times again, along with nine times. So that is 29, if I can count correctly, sorry. This is somebody that has been through a battle. I mean, a tremendous battle. And Spirit is here to tell you that this cycle is ending. That all 29 of those swords are going to be removed out of your back. And you might be doing it yourself. Um, somebody, this... Maybe King of Gems is going to come in and help you remove these swords. But whatever you have gone through, people are going to be celebrating you. They are recognizing you as a light worker and as the high priestess. And since you've been stabbed in your back so many times, the Ten of Swords is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is start of a successful venture. This is like having your business expand if you're, you have your own business. This is somebody bringing in important documents that are going to help you with your money. Help you gain footage in life for probably the first time ever. You deserve this Ace of Pentacles. And every person that has been involved in this situation fucking knows it. And this is your reward for all the times you've been stabbed in your back. I also feel like you've been stabbed in your back because there's been some financial gain for all these people that have done it to you. They were hiding money from you. They've stolen money. This is important documents coming your way, meaning that it's going to be documents that are going to move you forward in life and have you shining as bright as this card is, have you in your power, holding your pinnacle high, knowing that you have succeeded in everything that you have gone through and that you're not, and you're only going to become more powerful in the future financially. 
You are manifesting at this time. You are a manifester. You are manifesting the Ace of Pentacles in your life. You're manifesting this situation to come out into the open. You are always manifesting, I'm hearing, always. So be aware of your thoughts. Keep them positive. Keep the negativity out of them, even though that is extremely difficult especially when you have been through something like you've been through, especially since you've been stabbed in the back 29 times, not 10 times, 29 fucking times. And then instead of this keeping you down and out and in the fucking gutter, you turn it around and you manifest the stability, the success that you are gaining each and every day, which is absolutely fucking beautiful. Manifest is clarified by the fool. The Fool represents Pisces and Aquarius, so you could be manifesting a Pisces and an or an Aquarius into your life. This is stepping off this cliff into the unknown. This is going on a new adventure. This is having a new life. And I think that you have been manifesting this new life for a very long time. Maybe you were scared to step off that cliff because you were afraid that you would just fall straight down. And it's flat on your face. But throughout this situation, you have really um, connected with the higher power. You have used your experiences to help you grow, to help you become the person that will walk straight off a cliff into the unknown, knowing that the universe, God himself, is going to catch you, which is absolutely fucking powerful and absolutely beautiful. You have gone through a major transformation. Major and people in this situation have recognized it. They cannot deny it. They have watched you transform into something that is extremely fucking powerful. You have let your pain, your sorrow, your disappointments um, not hold you back. You have not let the 29 swords in your back stop you from moving forward. You have actually used all of this pain and sorrow and disappointment to allow you to become and transform into the beautiful person you are today and who you will become in the future. Transformation is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This again is success, achievements, promotions. You are going to be handed success because you deserve it. People are going to be celebrating you. See all these people around this witch right here? They are celebrating her. They're celebrating the beauty that she offers to the world, her knowledge that she offers to the world. People didn't perceive you this way in the past. They perceived you as somebody that was okay to, to beat down, to stab in the back, to make fun of, to, um, to abandon, to steal from, to lie about, to deceive to use, abuse, anything and everything, all 29 of the swords mean. But now they see, they have clarity of who you are and what you represent. And that's something that you have been manifesting. You have gone through a major fucking transformation in your life and you're like blowing the socks off of people because you've changed so much. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This knight it has was represented in another deck in this reading this knight of swords is riding in on his cow or bowl or whatever the fuck that is with the sword drawn high this knight of swords wants your love this knight of swords is going to come in as a shining um, knight in shining armor like i said though beware because this knight of short uh, swords is not the king he could ride in quickly to save the day but he can ride out just as quickly as he came in that's a very strong uh, message for you not saying this isn't a reliable person i would you know if this is in a romantic sense i would take your time i would not let your emotions just totally um, overtake you until you know if this knight is here to stay or not the knight of swords is clarified by the empress the the you know the empress is a sign of libra so libra is strong in this reading she is all four queens in this deck this empress is also pregnant, so maybe there is some type of pregnancy in this situation. Maybe you are going to become pregnant. If you cannot have children, maybe you are going to adopt children. 
Don't ever give up. If you want to have children, you can always adopt. There's many a children that need homes. But you are the you are the mother. You are the the beauty of the world. You stand in your power. People perceive you as beautiful, as in, you know, angelic, as you know, kind and gentle. If you notice, this uh, empress has a dog and a cat. This is a very loyal friend. This is your intuition. You are very, very fucking powerful. We not only have the high uh, empress, uh, but we also have. The high priestess and that represents you and you re represent every queen in every deck this knight of swords knows that you are the fucking empress that's what it is and this knight of swords is riding in quickly because this person's finally realized who the fuck you are and what you represent you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness face the truth north so yeah people have been like they have like shunned you because of your weirdness. They found you to be weird. Because you're not afraid to um, embrace your weirdness. You're not afraid to um, embrace your uniqueness. You're not afraid to show who you are. You're not for everyone. We're, no one is. So that's what we need to realize right there. But I think that people are finally seeing that you are for everyone. Because you have something to offer each and every person that comes into your life. I think that people finally see you as maybe being weird, okay, but seeing you for who you truly are, which I think you truly are this empress. Not You're not for everyone is clarified by the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is um, a committed um, and very powerful love. This is family coming together. This is a happy home, a happy marriage. This is a very successful love situation. And it doesn't only have to do with these two people that are very much in love with each other. But it has to do with the family that they they um, create. There's a baby here. Somebody wants to have a baby with you. Somebody wants to have this Ten of Cups with you. And they're coming in to offer it to you. You might be like, yeah, right. I've been waiting fucking eight years for love to come into my life. And... People, when they come in, you know, you can think of all the negative things why this wouldn't happen. But Spirit wants you to know within the next 24 hours, this is going to happen. So be prepared. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So you need to know it's happening for you, not to you. I think everything has always happened to you in your life. It's been very um, negative, even though you represent all this beauty in the world. Uh, even in your darkest days, you still represented the beauty in this world. Um, it's, it's, you are the true light. People have been watching you. You might be on a social media platform. You could just um, be a, like a blogger. Um, people, you might be in the spotlight. But people have watched you transform. You went from, you know, um, not things not happening for you. They were happening to you. To now things are going to be happening for you because you fucking deserve it. The ever unfolding rose is clarified by the moon. Sign of cancer again. This is things that have been hidden behind the moon. Things that are being done in the dark. Things that people have been hiding from society, hiding from your family, hiding from you, hiding from, you know, the world. But instead of that, if you look at this card, this is a fucking badass card. This cat is looking in the water. Look at this cat's shadow. That's how powerful you truly are. People see the truth of who and what has been going on. Even though this card was not in reverse, the moon is no longer hiding what deceit, what hidden agendas, what bullshit has been going on. You are being freed from whatever has been holding you back in your life. No longer are secrets being held. The truth is out, people. I'm telling you. I've been saying that for a long time. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial and f family stability. This also represents properties, inheritances, 
I know a lot of you, including me, have been waiting for this property and this inheritance to come into your life because you not only deserve it, it but it was left to you and it was being hidden by whomever was keeping it from you. Again, this is no longer being hidden. Nothing is being hidden. I feel like on the, la not the last full moon, but the full moon before now, um, in Gemini uh, season, that curse, whatever curse that was put on you to hold you back from your finances was broken. Not only that, but it also released the curse that was being held on the truth of your situation. Know that you are going to be financially stable in the next 24 hours. This, this reading is timeless, so when you watch this, this is what I'm talking about. Just believe, have faith, and it's coming towards you. The Ten of Pentacles is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is three times this card has came out. Eventual positive outcome. This is a reliable young man. He is riding his broom in towards you to give you the news regarding your Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to be disappointed. Believe and it's coming. I'm telling you. King of Roses, the uh, motivator. So there could be a King of Roses in your life that has really been motivated to bringing this situation to come together. This could be somebody that um, is just trying to make things right for you. That has really been motivated to make the situation come out. Make the situation come together. This could represent you. This could represent somebody in your life. But this person's been very motivated to help the situation come out and come together. The King of Roses, the motivator, is represented by the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a new relationship, new start that brings happiness for all at home. Uh, this uh, King of Roses is coming in to offer you this. You might have many of people coming in to offer you love. You might have many of choices in love. There is one that you are supposed to pick, obviously, that is going to not only help you with this situation or has been helping you with this situation, but this person is going to motivate you to keep going and also motivate you in love, knowing that love is truly real, even when you've been hurt so tremendously in your life. We have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is conflict, quarreling, competition. Um, this has been what's been going on. This is what's been causing all of this drama in your life. There's been a lot of competition. Maybe people are jealous of who you are, what you represent, your knowledge, your wisdom, your beauty, your uniqueness, your weirdness, whatever it is. It's caused this conflict and quarreling, and it's been nonstop in your life for a very long time. It's time to cut this out, and I believe that spirit within the next 24 hours there might be a lot of conflict and quarreling because people that have uh, projected this situation onto you, that have hindered your growth, um, that tried to stop you from becoming the person that you are but were unable to, are probably receiving their karma and which is causing them to, to uh, compete against each other. You could have plenty, you know, uh, suitors coming in that are going to be competing for your love. You might not pick any of them. You might say, you know what? I'm going to take my money that I fucking deserve and I'm going to move on towards something better to the manifestations that I've been manifesting in my life for a long time um, towards the things that um, I am now receiving because I've transformed in the ways that God wanted me to. The Five of Wands is uh, clarified with the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is overly cautious, uh, fear of loss, material focus, or um, miserly. So um, I think people are losing what they've worked so hard for. They were afraid to let go of what um, they have been keeping from you. These are people that are selfish, inconsiderate, that were thieves, that had lied about you, that have tried to keep you stuck. But in reality, their karma's boomeranging straight back to them. And this is where it's going to lead them. With that being said, this is what I have that is coming towards you in the next 24 hours. I really hope it resonated with you. 
Um, if it didn't, please check out another video of mine. I have plenty of them. I am in sending so much healing, so many positive vibes, and peace to each and every one of you. I love you all so very dearly. Last time I checked, I was at 299 um, subscribers. I'm one shy of 300. I'm so very excited to be hitting that 300 mark. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you and the support that you give. Thank you, Carol, for commenting on my um, videos. I do appreciate that. There are a couple other people that I'm going to be pointing out in each reading. I wanted to start with Carol uh, because she has been commenting, but there are a bunch of people that have really been giving me the, the clarification that my videos are resonating with people, that the messages are re reaching the right people. And I just want to say thank you very much. I love you so very dearly, and I love each and every one of you. Please continue to watch my channel. Please continue to comment. I love you all so very much. Have a beautiful, loving day. Peace.